Hey everyone, this is Crypto Cruise once again with Coin Financial, uh, bringing you another crypto market update. <clears throat> again, if you like this kind of content, if you feel this content is helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, here we go. It, it'll definitely help out the channel and help me uh, uh, make better contents and improve my videos and, and everything. So, and update a whole lot more often. So here we go um with our market update so what the heck happened today guys all right well the previous video i told uh that i the previous video i uploaded i told y'all that there's a higher probability that we are going to be going up breaking these lines right here i'm just going to go ahead and uh show y'all the lines that i told y'all we we're going to break because we were down here when i made the the video previously we were below this white line Okay, and I said there was a higher probability that we we're going to break above it. And once we break above it, we go to the purple line. And then if we break above that, we go to the second purple line right here. And then if we break above that, then we shoot all the way up back to 28,500, right? 28,500. But in this case, we went all the way up. There was a lot of, what happened was there was a lot of short squeezes, People, meaning people shorting the market, were getting liquidated on the uh, on the rise up. So we went all the way up to exactly right here in this chart. According to this chart, exactly right at thirty thousand dollars. That's crazy, right? Right at thirty k. All right, but we went all the way back down, and guess where the uh, the resistant back down is? Right here. You see this line right here where the other wick. Is twenty eight thousand eight hundred, right around the price that I said I was, you know, we were gonna be stuck at, right? And that sure enough, that's where we were: twenty eight thousand eight hundred, twenty eight thousand six hundred, twenty eight thousand five hundred. That was right around the price that I said we're gonna be stuck at, and that's where most of the price action happened. Is right here, looked all the way up, and most of the price action, you know, on that ceiling was right around here. All right but what exactly happened so apparently uh you know uh, according to the charts it, i was saying if we were gonna go up right but it could be a mixture of charts and news but the good news was you know show me the charts and i'll tell you the news according to, to the charts i said we we're gonna spike up we we're gonna hit all those resistant lines and if we break them we we're gonna keep going to the next one if we break it go to the next one the news that happened was you know, um, Coin Telegraph released supposedly the first spot Bitcoin ETF. BlackRock was approved for the first spot Bitcoin ETF. But here, let's look at it. What it was is after they released that, it was in uh, it was a tweet. After they released that, the price started going up and up and up, but apparently they made a mistake and was an error now they're saying that you know um they made a mistake they're apologizing and they even wrote an article you know dear community we hold ourselves a high uh journalistic standards and consider the importance to address the mistake we make with full transparency here's what happened today regarding the tweet about blackrock bitcoin etf okay y'all can read this article here if y'all want Actually, let's just see what's going on there, right? Um, clarification of false uh, spot Bitcoin ETF news. Okay, Coin Telegraph apologized to its reader and discussed the investigation into what led to the position of unverified news on X about what about a spot Bitcoin ETF. Okay, so y'all can read it here. Here's what I think. I think someone in Coin Telegraph, right? I think someone in Coin Telegraph have an insider scoop, you know, of the Bitcoin ETF. Someone uh, from BlackRock or probably was communicating with them and possibly said, you know, possibly said, "Hey, a uh, spot Bitcoin ETF is going to be approved," and they, I guess, whoever it was at Coin Telegraph got too excited and tweeted it, and, but what failed. To be said was it's going to be approved but not today you know not today so uh there was an edit in, in that tweet saying uh before 
before they edited it, it said the spot Bitcoin T ETF was approved. And then a little while later, they edited it and they added uh, rip, uh, reportedly or something like that, you know? So I think, I think it was, it was a mistake, you, you know, like someone had a inside scoop that's saying it, it is going to get approved, but they failed to say that it's not going to get approved today. Maybe, uh, most of it's going to get approved in the future. So, so maybe, maybe it's already in place, but Cointelegraph wasn't supposed to leak it out just yet. Okay, that's that's what I'm thinking. So let's go back in the chart. But I am a charts guy, so we're gonna talk about the chart versus the news. You know, it's only a matter of when. It's not a matter of if anymore. You know, that that's gonna get approved. the The question is when. So um, even with the news, even with that news, we're gonna zoom in a lot more. This is the one hour chart. Even with the news, look at this. Why is it respecting my lines, right? You tell me the news. If if it really is just the news that's driving this up, why didn't we just shoot all the way up? How come it's still respecting my lines, you know? See, as you can see right here, when we broke up on the white, we, we broke up and out of that white line. We went all the way and went here on my first purple. We was over here first, right? Got rejected and we were over here. We started, that's actually ascending triangle right there, there and there. That looks like an ascending triangle. And then when we broke out of that, we went all the way up. This is all today, you guys. We went all the way up to the second purple line and we got rejected there, played around there until we finally broke out of that. And that's when we went all the way up to 38, uh, to 30K right here. But then that's a huge wick. We went up and way back down right because of the news right the news happened and then they said it it didn't you know it's the spot it's not happening but how come we didn't go all the way back down where it was before right i think it's just the chart as well right this was supposed to happen it's just maybe not the 30k and that's why it corrected itself but everything else this right here was supposed to happen. We were supposed to go to the purple line and then we we're supposed to break out of it and go to the next purple line, break out of that and then get rejected or somewhat, uh, um, what do you call that? Get uh, resisted, there you go. We get resisted on the 28.5, just like I said on my previous video. And that's why we got resisted the most right here is 28,500, right? I made that call on my previous video. Go watch it and see. See for yourself. But that's where we're at now to talk about where we're headed now. Okay? Everything that I said happened. What was once resistant becomes support. What was once resistant becomes support. And now that we're above these purple lines, those have now become support. I believe we are going to go back down here and retest this purple line at around 27,800. Right, we maybe we could go below it and retest this one, but I think now, now that we passed this white line, passed this purple line, and passed this purple line, we now have a really, really low probability of going back down to 26.7. I don't think we're gonna go back down to 26.7, and if we do, it's not gonna be anytime soon, it may be weeks or even months from now. But we're not going to go back down to 26.7. Let's actually zoom back out and see exactly what may happen. Okay. When in doubt, zoom out. And also, if you want to see more, right, as you can see right there. Okay. We could possibly, yeah, there's a higher probability that we actually retest the second purple line right here, right? Probably at around 27,400 before we move back, we, before we go back up again. And when we do go back up, we are gonna retest the 28,500 right here, where we're at, where we got rejected right here, 28,500. There it is, right there, All right? And once we break that, that's when we go to 30k again and retest this right and 
there's a high probability that when we do go here we're just gonna break through it as well okay so um that's <clears throat> that's my tech analysis for today and that is the news that happened today um, please like and subscribe to my channel again and also if you want to learn more about how to trade and how to read these charts and have a uh, trade finder um notifications you know like uh and it got signals, right? Trade finder signals, and it tells you when the dips happen and potential trades to take. Uh, go look in the description down below. I have a free bootcamp training on how to how to do all of that. You know how to make the charts, how to read the charts. I have a free bootcamp training link. You can sign up for free. You can take the trainings, and you can start making trades, start earning money, all for free, right? So go check that out. Also, again, don't forget to like, like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, peace out.